Hi, welcome to another video from the Market Outlook. In today's video, we'll be looking at the technical analysis of PayPal. But before that, let's jump straight into S&P 500. So this is the S&P 500 daily time chart. I'd like to jump straight into this as a follow-up technical analysis from our previous video, which I'll put in the link right here. In our previous video, we did mention that S&P 500 does not respect this 50-day EMA. So this is the blue EMA line that you see over here. So we drew a trend line to connect the previous lows and shows that this trend line has been well respected in previous two occasions. And yesterday on Monday trading day, it has been respected as well. So right now we are seeing prices moving higher and currently it's trading at 4232. Over here, if you break it down further, you can see the RSI as well that's coming in. You see higher momentum and more buyers coming in and coinciding very nicely with the bullish candle you see over here. To further break it down, we go to the 4 hourly time frame. So if you zoom right here, right, you can see right now that S&P 500 is really at a very crucial resistance zone. So if we can break above that, that would be great. We'll be able to see higher upside for S&P 500 for sure. But a very positive note is that if you take a look at the price action and the EMAs, you can see that price action is holding very nicely above the EMAs over here. Although it has fallen down, you can see the price action broke through back up above the EMA and is holding up very well. So with a higher close of this candle, and if we are able to break the resistance as we showed, we will be more confident of S&P going higher now. So as of now, S&P 500 is showing further bullish sign and I'm bullish on it. So that's for S&P 500. If I will dive straight into PayPal. So if you look at the daily time chart of PayPal, you can see that prices are trading at $282. You look at the RSI, very interestingly, RSI is going way higher. And you can see a lot of momentum is really kicking into PayPal stock. And why did I enter into position yesterday? The reason is because if we break it down further, we will look at the 4 hourly time frame. And you can see over here that prices have broken above resistance. So now on the 4 hourly time frame, you can see that prices broke above the resistance zone, retested a bit, and broke further above again. And upon seeing prices yesterday retesting this zone again, I entered into a position as I see a higher probability setup being formed for prices to move higher for PayPal. So you can see over here as well, the RSI is very nicely bouncing above the Trader Dynamic Index and going even higher, showing many buyers coming in to push prices higher as well. Lastly, I'd like to bring you to the one-hour time frame. Let me zoom in to the price action over here. This is a very crucial price action in the last few bars. Reason being that you see price action pushing up with the EMA support, with the price action and the wicks, you see buyers pushing prices up past the resistance zone. So now this resistance zone is the new support zone. And what we like to see is a very nice retest of this support zone. And immediately upon touching this 21-day EMA, which you see as a red line over here, you see a very nice bullish green candle closing on Friday. So that is why after prices move higher on Monday and you see a retest of this support zone, I decided to enter into call options for PayPal and in the hopes that prices will go higher due to the high probability setup. So this is my tanker analysis for PayPal. I think it's a very clean bullish signal for PayPal to go higher. Ideally, what I'd like to see is that further consolidation of the price action on the support zone and followed by a move higher. You can see as well, if I break it down for the RSI, you can see RSI is holding very well above the 50 level and the Trader Dynamic Index, which is the 50 day lagging indicator is holding up very well above the 50 level as well. So lagging indicators and future price action shows us a very good strong indication where there's a high probability setup where buyers are coming in to push PayPal higher. So my price target for PayPal will be the previous high. If you can see over here, I'll go with this range where you see a supply zone over here of psychological level of 300 to $309. You can see this zone will be a very good price for us to take profit. So that's my target price for PayPal. And with that, I end my technical analysis for PayPal and S&P 500. So if you enjoyed this video, do remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel as it helps out a ton. And trade safe. I'll see you in the next one.